If x positive real numbers such as x power 8 plus 1 by x power 8 is 47, then the value of x power 9 plus 1 by x power 9. If it stand that question, nothing dramatic about this. x power 8 plus x power 1 by 8, 1 by x power 8. So all depends on this one funda. We use a different variable. y plus 1 by y, the whole square is y square plus 1 by y square plus 2 into y into 1 by y. So we have y plus 1 by y we can get y square plus 1 by y square. Now, y square plus 1 by y square, we can get y power 4 plus 1 by y power 4. And then one step more is this. We have got that. But how do we go to this? What is happening here? And so, suppose we have y plus 1 by y whole q. This is y q plus 1 by y q plus 3 times y into 1 by y into y plus 1 by y. Nice. So we have this and this, we've got this. So this is the method. So you can do the same thing for y minus 1 by y whole square. y minus 1 by y whole square is y square plus 1 by y square minus 2. So the whole fund is, we're just going to use this to carve this entire thing open. So let's go step by step. After we crack the method, it's a painful question because it's very time consuming. And so let's go step by step and say, hey, x power 4 plus 1 by x power 4 whole square is x power 8 plus 1 by x power 8 plus 2. 47 plus 2 is 49. x power 4 plus 1 by x power 4 is therefore 7 because it cannot be negative. 7 square done so far so good. So now we say hey nice so x square plus 1 by x square the whole square is x power 4 plus 1 by x power 4 plus 2. Remember we got this as 7, 7 square is 49, 47 plus 2, so 7 plus 2 is 9, x square plus 1 by x square could be 3 or minus 3, so x square plus 1 by x square, it cannot really be minus 3, therefore x square plus 1 by x square is 3, 3 square is 7 plus 2, so far so good. Also, x is a positive real number, I had completely forgotten that, but doesn't matter, so far so good. So, x plus 1 by x whole square is x square plus 1 by x square plus 2. x plus 1 by x whole square is 3 plus 2, 5, or x plus 1 by x is root 5. So, x plus 1 by x is root 5. Nice, beautiful. So, we take x plus 1 by x the whole cube is x cube plus 1 by x cube plus 3 times x plus 1 by x. 3 x into 1 by x, x plus 1 by x. This is root 5. Root 5 cube. Root 5 into root 5 into root 5. 5 root 5 equals x cube plus 1 by x cube plus 3 root 5. Or x cube plus 1 by x cube is 2 root 5. Plug that back in here. Whew x cube plus 1 by x cube whole cube is x power 9 plus 1 by x power 9 plus 3 times x cube plus 1 by x cube. This is 2 root 5, 2 root 5 the whole cube. So 2 root 5 into 2 root 5 into 2 root 5, 2 root 5 into 2 root 5 is 2 into 4, 4 into 5 20, 20 into 2 root 5 which is 40 root 5 equals this is what we need to find plus 3 times 2 root 5. 3 times 2 root 5 is 6 root 5. 40 root 5 is something plus 6 root 5 or this something is 34 root 5. Hopefully that's there among our choices. Yes, it is there. That is the, that is the right answer. Now, now, once you know that we are manipulating x plus 1 by x, x square plus 1 by x square, x power 4 plus 1 by x power 4, going from x plus 1 by x to x cube plus 1 by x cube, we know that framework, uh, then this is doable, still a pain, still time consuming, because you go from power 8 to 4 to 1, 1, 3, 9, so x power 8 to x power 4 to x square to x 1, 3 steps, 3, 9, 2 more steps here, 5 st steps of manipulating to get here, so it's a painful question, even after we crack the method straight away.